Hello everyone, welcome to another insightful video from EPC Land's educational series on green energy. Today, we are diving into an exciting topic that's at the forefront of hydrogen production technology, anion exchange membrane, or AEM, electrolyzers. My name is Sonia, and with over 20 years of experience in the energy sector, I'm thrilled to guide you through this fascinating subject. In this video, we'll cover the basics and key components of AEM electrolyzers, setting the foundation for a deeper understanding in the upcoming videos of our series. Anion exchange membrane electrolyzers are a cutting-edge technology designed to produce hydrogen through water electrolysis. Unlike the more commonly known PEM electrolyzers, which conduct protons, AEM electrolyzers conduct hydroxide ions, often written as O, through a specialized membrane. This difference in ion conduction opens up new possibilities in hydrogen production, offering unique advantages and challenges, which we'll explore in this series. Let's start by taking a closer look at the key components that make up an AEM electrolyzer. First, we have the anion exchange membrane, AEM, itself. This is a semi-permeable membrane that plays a crucial role in the electrolyzer. It's responsible for conducting hydroxide ions from one side of the cell to the other, enabling the electrochemical reactions necessary for hydrogen production. The membrane needs to be highly selective to allow only the passage of hydroxide ions while preventing the crossover of gases like hydrogen and oxygen. This selectivity is vital for the efficiency and safety of the electrolyzer. Next, we move to the electrodes. In AEM electrolyzers, the electrodes are typically made of nickel-based materials. These materials are chosen because they are effective catalysts for the electrochemical reactions and, importantly, they are much more cost-effective than the platinum group metals used in PEM electrolyzers. This makes AEM technology potentially more affordable and accessible for large-scale hydrogen production. Another critical component is the bipolar plates. These plates serve multiple functions within the electrolyzer stack. They conduct electricity between the cells in the stack and also play a crucial role in distributing water and gases throughout the electrolyzer. The design of these plates is essential for ensuring that the electrolyzer operates efficiently and that the gases produced are effectively separated and collected. Lastly, we have the end plates. These provide the necessary structural support to the entire electrolyzer stack. They also house the connections for water and gas inlets and outlets, ensuring that the system operates smoothly and that the gases produced can be safely transported to where they are needed. Understanding these components is essential as they form the backbone of the AEM electrolyzer. In our next video, we'll delve into the process details, how these components work together to produce hydrogen through water electrolysis. At EPC Land, we are committed to providing comprehensive education on green energy technologies. This video is part of our broader educational series focused on the fundamentals of green energy, including topics like green hydrogen, which is becoming increasingly important in our transition to a sustainable energy future. Thank you for joining me today. If you found this video helpful, make sure to subscribe to the EPC Land YouTube channel and stay tuned for more videos in this series. Together, we'll explore the intricacies of AEM electrolyzers, from their advantages and challenges to their real-world applications. I look forward to seeing you in the next video.